Hello, ladies and gentlemen, today we have for you Pancras Alive number four, match number one, and we have Keichiro Yamamiya taking on Taka Michinoku. Those of you who are pro wrestling fans will remember Taka Michinoku from his time in Australia, oh, not Australia in America. Uh, I believe under the WWE, and also from his own uh, promotion, Michinoku Pro. Excuse me, just gonna have a sip of tea. So I believe this is just before his, uh, he moved to America to start his uh, WWF run. Not 100% sure, not a massive fan of WWF at this time. In fact, I don't even know it exists. Uh, around 1998, I don't think I knew it existed, and this is 1997, so yeah. Uh, so, but it is very interesting because he's come across two Pancras to try his skills in a shoot context. And he's taking on the fairly dangerous but inexperienced Keichiro Yamamiya. Uh, I have been absent for a while. I do apologize to my faithful YouTube audience. Uh, those who watch these particular videos, which is about a hundred people, I'm sure you've been missing out. Especially with the uh, recent hiatus of Clyde Resurrection. Uh, low kick from K. Yamamiya to open the match. And now we're seeing some tentative palm strikes from both of the boys. Into the clinch, and Michinoku backed out there. No kick pads from Taka. So maybe he's not confident in his. in throwing his feet. Good palm strike entry into the clinch there, but he's immediately given up double unders and is being turned around by K. Yamamiya. Switching to a wizard. Yamamiya is sort of. Um, Using his thigh to shove across the thigh of Taka Michinoku, which should make a takedown if he goes that way a lot easier. Although it could be uh, Taka trying to prevent knees coming in from Kei Yamamiya. You never know. Body punch from Yamamiya. Wrist control from Taka Michinoku. And a nice knee there from the uh, wrist control stopping the block. Good palm strike on the exit from Taka Michinoku. So he's got some uh, shoot instincts. Good body kick from Yamamiya. Michinoku attempted to shoot there. Uh, he's climbed up from the shoot and landed a couple of nice knees. So good on him. Good effort. But uh, he's being turned straight away by the much stronger Yamamiya. Uh, Yamamiya's got underhooks and a wizard from Taka Michinoku. Uh, nice takedown there. Not 100% sure what to call it. It's sort of a knee tap or double leg. More of a body lock takedown, anyway. Uh, half guard from Taka. But that's an open half guard. So, Keichiro Yamamiya, one of the better guard passes in Pancras. One of the only guard passes in Pancras. Uh, should be able to slip right out of that. Just like, sl just like so, uh, slips out and then goes to briefly to shin on neck and knee on belly. Double knee ride from Yamamiya. Absolutely brutal shit. Truly awful. Slips around. Uh, not quite into mount. Leaves his foot behind and gets caught up in the quarter guard of Takamichinoku, who's now hipped away into half guard, but it's a high half guard. So there's a toe hold and or knee bar opportunity there for Kei Yamamiya. He's trying to regard though. Ah, <laughs> spins straight away into the knee bar and tries for the toe hold. He's got that and Michinoku reaches for the ropes. So yeah, saw that one coming, ladies and gentlemen. Backstanding. Uh, old school, like, test of strength lock up there with the fingers interlaced. Uh, attempted double leg from Takamichinoku to be turned over by the underhook and crossface of Keichiro Yamamiya. Because Yamamiya can fucking wrestle. Oh, and he's got a uh, Ezekiel choke and or... Front naked choke that appeared to be right on the Adam's apple of poor old Takamichinoku, who only has one rope escape left in this match. Palm strikes from Taka, straight into a double leg of Keichiro Yamamiya. So, Yamamiya sees how he's going to win this match. Uh, takedowns galore. Half guard again from Takamichinoku. Yamamiya trying to set up that same choke again. Michinoku's gone over the head, which leaves him vulnerable to a uh, head-arm choke. And K. 
Keichiro has got the underhook on that side, so he can keep Yamamiya flat. Oh, Shino Neck rides straight at a half guard. That is cool. I like that. Um, it was only there for an instant, and it does leave room for a regard just like that. Well done, Tucker. But it's an open uh, guard, which means Keichiro Yamamiya, one of the only guard passes in Pancras, can use the traditional uh, knee up the butt guard pass to slip right out of his open guard. And he spins into the toe hold. Oh, nice uh, recovery of the leg by Tucker. And he's stood up, but he's overcommitted to that knee and just being shoved to the ground like a bitch. Scarf hold from Kei Yamamiya. And he's just trying to apply the scarf hold. Uh, Tucker's doing his best not to get locked up here by this uh, pillow arm lock, I believe it's called. Uh, nice counter from Tucker, but Keichiro Yamamiya feels it coming and then steps over to prevent the sweep. Very cool. So Yamamiya's hips were too close to Tucker. Tucker could almost throw him over, but instead of getting thrown over, Tucker threw his own hips over to the other side, which gave Tucker room to uh, belly down, but prevented him from ending up on the bottom. Uh, single wrist right. Oh, double wrist lock attempt from Taka Michinoku here. But Yamamiya's recovered his arm there. Neon belly with a forearm choke, just to be super mean. And five minutes have passed in this match. That knee slide to mount of Keichiro Yamamiya, while um, traditionally textbook, he leaves his foot behind, and so he's uh, vulnerable to it getting caught up in quarter guard. Didn't happen this time, and he's gone to the Funaki style Z mount, and then stepped off when Takamichinoku hipped up. Which is an important thing from Z mount, you can't just sort of hang out there, because Eventually the person on the bottom will bridge you, so you've got to be ready to step off or roll into a triangle. Oh, back steps into a uh, toe hold attempt again. So maybe it's deliberate. Maybe that's why he's leaving his um, foot behind. Oh, nice uh, sweep from Takamichinoko. He's going apeshit on uh, Keichiro Yamamiya's head. And Yamamiya's sort of fucked up and got himself caught crossways underneath uh, Takamichinoku. Because when he's gone for that knee bar and ended up on the bottom, his legs are the wrong way to catch up a half guard. So he's been mounted. Well done, Taka. And uh, he's working for the <laughs> palm strike finish here. Not sure if he's going to get it because Yamamiya was a tough son of a bitch. And has just bridged up and come on top in half guard. But yeah, I was uh, giving Yamamiya shit about the um, style of his, uh, his mount from Neon Belly. But maybe it's deliberate. Maybe he's leaving his foot behind so it does get caught up so he can spin straight into the knee bar. And he's working for that um, that same Ezekiel choke on Takamichinoku, who's bridged to escape, and now they're all fucked up in the ropes. Body punches, palm strikes from Turtle too. Not a good spot to be if your name is Takamichinoku. Break! Break! And there we are. Refs decided to stand him up. Big shit-eating grin on the face of Taka Michinoku, which is cool. A good palm strike there from Kei Yamamiya. Sprawls on Michinoku's takedown attempt and then spins to the back. Michinoku gets the overhook, but gets rolled over by Kei Yamamiya. Yamamiya forcing into a hammerlock here, and he's cranking the absolute shit out of it. Even from half guard, you could roll Taka. And Taka has tapped, and that is the end of the match. So, good effort by the... Uh, the usual work pro wrestler Taka Michinoku showing some actual shoot chops here, but such is life, and he is lost against the uh, purely shoot trained Keichiro Yamamiya. I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you all next time.